So if you have this bumper, like I said, if you see my other previous video, you can attach to um, multiple occasion. What do you want to do? So like, for instance, the, this is my setup here and you could just add extension on this one in this PCB pipe and you can go all the way up as much as you want. So you put this all the way up, you're gonna have limits. So that means you're gonna have a lot of vibration. That's the way it goes, gravity, you know? And you can see here, the way my battery is set up, I can still able to connect without no problem. And you can see here, my gimbal, um, not giving me any problem at all. Sorry, let's go ahead and close this up over here. All right. And I have it simple like that. You can see the um, Osmo Mobile 3. <laughs> you know, that's my setup. And I got my Rubble Master. And you can see here my pocket. And then I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. Now you guys can see, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this guy on. You can see it's recording. And we're gonna go ahead and put everything on. I'm gonna turn on the action. And the action is on. And put the camera switch around. And the camera got me on. Then turn on the light. The, the more light you are in the night, the more better it is. So, got that going. And then we're just gonna go ahead and how this thing follows. All of them is following me at the same time. Checks your control is on. And then I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the light. Lights helps at night, so. And here you go. Let me see how bright it is. Okay, it's really bright. And then I'm gonna go ahead and see if this thing can capture me. Give me right now. And also, <laughs> look at that. Look at the, um, and then I got the pocket here. And it should track me. Hold on. So all of them, all of them is tracking me all at the same time. Whatever it go. See? That's amazing. Rubomaster S1. Look at that. And you can see the Osmo um, Mobile 3 still tracking me in low light. And of course the action. I mean I'm sorry. There you go. And it's tracking me right now. So it's interesting. And then you can just go this way with it. This way with it. And that's a good thing about the Mobile 3, the injection control, you can just turn it off. So this is like the tripod, killer tripod with the wheels. <laughs> and it's all tracking me right now, whatever I go. And then if I just put it right here, the controller. And you can see the Osmo pocket. And the Rubble Master is following me. And also the Mobile 3. You know. So it's a lot of light. It's always good. Especially in pitch black environment. But we're going to go ahead and turn off the light and see from here. And what's going to happen. Lights off. It's still tracking me right now. Oh, it's still tracking me. Look at that. See? 2019. The Rubble Master is the. So it's. So now you can see. I just saw it right now. And it's still tracking me. So how. <laughs> Amazing how it tracks you, you know, get you forward. And I'll go here and the 
in the action. I mean, I'm sorry, the um, lost me a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and track me down again. And as simple as that. So, yeah, that's my setup here. And it's just easier to, you can do this modification, but now you have a moving tripod and you have a handheld gimbal that you can take it with you wherever you go or whatever, you know what I mean? It's awesome how DJI product just constantly, you know, follow you, whatever you do. And it's amazing. Again, and all of them, look, all of them and all the same Wi-Fi. I'm not getting any lag at all. See that? Not getting lag, and you can see my Osmo action is up there. So, it's awesome.